Hi, everyone. Okay, so um, uh, somebody actually asked me, it's a couple of questions, but now I know why you're asking me those questions. Let me just bring that up. All right, so in the workshops every year I explain what uh, what energy is coming to a certain direction. So in the east, the west, south, north, southeast, southwest, northwest, and um, northeast. So every year there's an energy that comes and then we just remedy that energy for the year in your home, in your business, etc. cetera. Um, and that way you won't feel it this much. You'll just feel it this much. And that way you can deal with this much. You just can't deal with this much crap. Um, and so a few of you have asked me uh that now you understand what the seven means in the West because apparently in the West there was um, not just a riot this month. It's been going on for a, over more than a week, actually. yeah, a couple of weeks because of a young lady who actually died. Um, so the seven is actually there for the year. The seven is a broken female or it's broken females, which means in that west of wherever, in the world, west of Australia, um, you know, wherever it is, the west has broken females and that means females get in trouble, authority issues with females. So it's not just the girls getting in trouble but the authority with those girls as well females. This can also be those that start to identify as trans um, trans women. I think I've got that right. So then again, for the month of September, which is when this all happened, there was a six there for the month. So the six is the male authority issues. So now we've got male and female. The six is yielding a sword and the seven is about the looks okay, which kind of makes sense in that west westerly area. Then we've also got what uh, I don't talk about much as in the basic, or I did talk about it why Victoria was going through what it is, and the basic number there is also a seven. So that just means that when you mimic the basic, which is what's originally there, when the tortoise came out of the water, etc., um, what's originally there and you mimic that, then the whole it, that whole area is going to know about it, okay? It's kind of like the five in the centre, so the whole world is going into the void, the unknown, uh, attachments and spiritual and negative energies and spiritual and ancestral impurities, all of that. Right, so we're focused on the West for, for now. But then, uh, when everybody started sending me, I thought, hmm, don't know, it's how am I going to explain this? And then, um, thank you, Timmy, for sending me about this young girl. The young girl's name is Masa, uh, Masa Amani, and she's from Iran. So, Masa is born yin metal on a snake. I'm not putting the rest up there, I'm just showing you what's important here. So when I talk about that it takes one day for the world to change, it takes one one hour or two hour span of a certain animal to change life as we know it, this is what we call solar astrology, the purest form of astrology. So she is yin metal. Yin metal means very pretty girl. Yin metal is about the look. And this is actually what it was about, the look. And she sits on a snake. The snake is her power. So there's nothing wrong with that when you sit on it because it moulds you into something more useful. It moulds you into somebody that has that fire in their belly and they go and do things, okay? The thing here is with Master's chart, her luck pillar is also the mimic it mimics, right, her, her and people like her who have that fire, the belly, all that, and 
mostly females, I would say, in this. So she's come into a cycle. And at 20, the trigger was switched on even stronger. They're both travel stars. So there's a change that's going to occur. And that's what she's in this for the change. Okay. Then on the 16th of September, which is a day that is a water monkey. Now, water for Massa is her expression her talents, her skills. It's getting on a stage to shine. The thing here is the stage that she's getting on is actually in a penalty. The monkey, the tiger of the year, and the snake in her luck pillar and in her day she is born makes what we call a fire penalty, okay? And the fire in this case, fire is what molds metal, I know we're not the submissive anymore, but the energy of it is still that. So the person at the top, those at the top, boss, bank, landlord, pa parents, partners, that's what that means, okay. It became a fire penalty on the day. And, yes, all those that sit on a snake and were at the, a protest, that's where she went to a protest, then, yes, that could actually um, have happened to them or they got hurt, injured, etc. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So because this is a travel star, 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 what she says also sits on a travel star and the year is a travel star. So the year is also the same yang water, so it's about her expression. So she was pretty strong with that this year about her expression. But her expression on one particular day, the 16th of September, was a penalty, okay? So a penalty that, you know, if when I talk about things like this at the yearly workshops, I tell you you've got to wear something to keep it from this much to this much, same, so that you can. Deal with them, okay? So for her, she actually passed away. What actually happened here was pictures were uh, pictures were going around the world of this protest. The protest is actually about the hijab, about wearing um, the the head cover, etc., and whatever else. Now <clears throat> they took her away. And the police said she had a heart attack at the station. Her brother, I think, was waiting <coughs> outside for her. Sorry. The internet was actually shut down. Instagram, WhatsApp and something else was shut down by the government on the day to stop people filming and for it to go where it had to go, all right? The other thing was people, medic, someone in the medical field in that hospital or in the police station leaked pictures of her and what had happened to her and her body so she was beaten the the people that were in that were also arrested with her also took pictures of all of that you know they were taking all of that the dress code here is the problem okay the dress code People are saying this is Islam and this is whatever. I'm a Muslim. Have you seen me wear anything? No. The dress code is an interpretation. It's an interpretation. It's a man's interpretation, not a woman's. If they knew where this all arose and where it came from, no, they're not going to tell you. I know my dad's a sheik, was a sheik, may he rest in peace. He'd be laughing at me talking about this because we used to fight over it. So the guidance, it's called a guidance patrol, which is like a morality police. And so if you're not wearing that, then they arrest you and da, 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 da. So in this, it went viral and a lot of people are saying, where are the feminists here? Get over it. It's Iran. There are no feminists. And if you are a feminist, you would be hiding. This young girl is very strong metal. 
for all those people that is, you know, like those at the top uh, sending that, you know, they're in solidarity with all women protesting, that doesn't cut it. It's not enough. The other question is also which this relates to is 2024 that women rise. So do you see how things that start to happen and for me I, I understand it more than most people but now it clicks even more for me. So that wearing, that how you look, which is what the metal is, by those at the top, so you see, this girl is, uh, how do I put it, is the beginning of this. Even though others have come before, hers is different. Hers is totally, totally different. And so for those at the top, they're in trouble now. So the parents have not answered questions because the police, morality police, yeah, that's a joke, isn't it? Morality police, uh, obviously, you're not allowed to talk. It's just like the doctors all over the world at the moment. Amnesty International um, requested a criminal uh, whatever whatever to happen. Human Rights <coughs> Watch, they um, said the, the mandatory hijab law has to be cancelled. United Nations the US, European Union, you know, they're only now on this because it actually broke Twitter, the the whole, this went viral and it broke Twitter. There was like 800 a million, whatever it was. Insta and WhatsApp was closed down, it was switched off so people could not. So imagine what else actually happened before you got to see what was there. So when I also talk about your children are going to change the world, our children are going to change the world, and people say to me, oh, you don't know my kids. It's not the point here. It's that Gen Z, I mean, I'm a boomer. I'm not a boomer one. I'm a boomer two, which is 54 to 64. Before that is boomer one, they call it. Gen Z, they're the Zoomers. That's why they're called Gen Z, okay? So they're after the millennials. But Gen Z, Z because they Zoom the internet. They dominate the internet. That's the truth, all right? I just want to say to you, this is not Islam. I'm a Mozzie and this is not Islam. Islam is a, a philosophy that, is really amazing, okay? And this is not Islam, guys. So please do not think what somebody in the West is doing to females and other places as well. It's not just there. But this is like the beginning of women will rise. This is like the catalyst for somebody that was thinking should I or shouldn't I? <clears throat> so all around the world, and apparently I think it was in um, Melbourne this weekend or last weekend. <clears throat> yeah. I'm sorry, I had to get to this, I know, a while ago, but there was also a protest and there were all, it was mostly Gen Z and, and women, boomers I would say too and whatever else. Because of this, they were protesting. So, again, how are women going to rise? This is a catalyst for one thing. So all the catalysts that are coming in, you know, the next one will be, um, you know, those that uh, that did uh, get jabbed of finding out their menstrual cycle, there's the low sperm, the this, the that. That's another thing because women are what take care, who takes care of the home, takes care of their children. I'm not being a feminist, whatever, blah, blah, blah here. I'm just telling you the energy ones. So, again, this is how it's going to happen. So it's bit by bit. By the time we get to 2024, I believe if this 
uh, mandatory hijab law is not changed, the women will rise and change it and God help whoever is in government because, you know, they say the hand that rocks the cradle, <laughs> that's women, all right? So um, all around the world there were marches everywhere, the US, Europe, everywhere, and women were cutting off their hair, throwing it into the fire with their hijab, which is... To, to those that interpreted the law as this, okay, to those that interpreted the law as this, yeah, the real meaning of when this started, it has nothing to do with power and control, nothing at all, all right? So, yes, I know how it started. I'll write it in the book. <laughs> all right, so hopefully that, thank you for everybody even I don't know, <laughs> listening, paying attention to what I do say, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and putting it together. And you guys just come every year to a yearly workshop or you listen to the monthlies. But well done for pushing me to do it. It wasn't pushing me, it was I have such a list and you know, I've got Julian Assange, I've got a telegram. YouTube, all of those charts that I've got to get there and post. So it will happen. Thank you. Have a great week. And, yes, October starts on next Saturday. It is a good month. I'll get to that too in the next day. <laughs>